So when we ask, how does the second Beit HaMikdash, Sinat Chinam, connect to the generation of the spies? It couldn't be more clear. It couldn't be clearer. Both of them, their, their sin was rooted in the same problem. It was rooted in a lack of emunah and bitachon and trust in HaKadosh Baruch Hu. How interesting that in both of these places, Beit HaMikdash, second one, and the spies, we find a word that appears almost never else in our text. The word chinam. The second Beit HaMikdash is destroyed because of sinat chinam. Baseless hatred. When the spies came back, it was Tisha B'Av that night. And they cried a Bechia Shel Chinam, a cry for nothing. You think it's an accident that both of these places have the word Chinam? Not by accident, they're both rooted in the same issue. Bitachon caused the spies to cry for nothing. And Bitachon caused people to hate each other for nothing. If we work on our Bitachon, we're able to, in, to increase our emunah and bitachon and Hashem. We won't need to cry. We won't be nervous about the enemies of us in the world. If we increase our bitachon, we won't be, we won't be uh, angry at people and jealous of people around us. We won't hate people around us. Unbelievable. 